Well, good day everyone. So we have a new patch release available today to download and let's just jump straight into Blender and I'll show you a little bit about it. You need to be able to download this from somewhere. Go to this URL, which I put in the description below, and then you'll be able to download it. Now you can see uh, version 064 is not yet available. By the time you hit this page, uh, this button here, if you're on the Pro subscription tier above, that's this one, Studio or Intergalactic, so anything above Pro, you'll have version access to version 064. For anyone who's on Basic, you'll have 063, and anyone who's on the Free tier will have access to 041. So basically all of these should support up to Blender 3.6. Um, free is still 2.93 LTS. That's versions of Blender, by the way. All right, let's jump into Blender and install this, and I'll show you how it works. We're going to go into the Edit menu to Preferences, and then we're going to go Install. Now, I've downloaded the add-on already, so it should be my downloads. Uh, there it is. Okay, so here's where things get a little different. Now, before, when you install CrowdRun, all you had to do was tick the Enable box, and it would have enabled. Now, you notice it flashed something there at you, and unfortunately, I moved the mouse, and it went away. So let's just try that again. So you can see here it's telling you to install additional dependencies. Now this is the first of the two features which I'll talk about in a minute. All it means is you have to open up the preferences like this and you'll see there's a button, install dependencies. CrowdRunner needs to install the following dependencies. PyZMQ, Distro, uh, GQL requests and Tornado. This is extra software that we need to make things work. Um, all you have to do is click this button and then there'll be an installation log. You can see here it's doing something. There's a little animation of these little uh, periods flashing. And then it shows that it's installing everything. Hopefully, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, eventually it's going to get everything installed. And you should see something that says, da -da 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 -da, success, done. Now, pay attention to what it says at the bottom line. Please restart Blender to start using this add-on. So let's go do that. So I'm going to go and restart Blender. Now, if you had another version of CrowdRender running, you may need to open up your task manager, go find any process of Blender and shut those as well, because otherwise they will not be on the new version, they'll be on the old version. Or you could just reboot your computer, either way. Uh, rebooting is nice and easy. If you don't like mucking around in Task Manager or Activity Monitor or using the Linux PS command, restarting is just easier than all that. So, jumping back into Blender, we should now go and check the version number and it should show that we've got 064 installed. And there we go, version 064. That brings us to our next feature I want to talk about. Actually, it's the first feature. I'm going to do these kind of in reverse order. So we now have a Check for Updates button doesn't currently do anything at the moment because it's the first time we've introduced it hence the whole point of this patch release we need to test this because what we want is for you guys to be able to just press this button and it updates CrowdRunner without you having to do all of the stuff which I've just done really good if you've got lots of computers which you know that's what CrowdRunner's whole thing is about letting you use lots of computers to do rendering when we get the next version we're going to be able to test this so when we launch 070 you're going to be able to press this button if you've got access to 070, if you're on a Pro Studio or Intergalactic um, subscription, you'll be able to press that button and then it will automatically download 070 and install it for you. Right, so that's the first thing. So we're going to have a check for updates button, which will hopefully eventually become automatic updates. So the second thing is we had to install some dependencies. We used to bundle all of this into the actual add-on. That made the add-on file quite big. So now the add-on file is only around about 500 kilobytes. It used to be 28 megabytes. That means when you install it the first time, it doesn't have everything it needs. And that's why you have to press that install dependency button. That's actually really good though because it now allows us to support any version of Blender from 3.0 up to 3.6 on any platform. Doesn't matter whether it's Apple Silicon, whether it's ARM on a Raspberry Pi, or whether it's you know Intel or AMD, Mac OS, Windows, Linux. All of that should be supported because the reason we had to bundle all of our dependencies is because they were individually compiled for each of those different operating systems and processor architectures. So now, instead of bundling them all, which is dependent on us, we automatically install exactly the right ones just for your computer. Also, there is a bug fix. So in Windows, you could not do this. You could not hit the remove button and it just uninstalls. Before, if you were to try and do that on a Windows system, you would have got an error, and that's gone away now. And that's because we've installed code into a separate location. I'll show you exactly where that goes, just so you know. If you go to your users folder, 
you'll notice there's a folder called CR, short for CrowdRender. And in there now we have something called Persistent and then the Python version that it supports. And in here are all of the dependencies that we need. And now all of these are public projects. You can go look at them on GitHub and PyPy if you want to go and download them yourself. Or if you're just curious as to what exactly do we install on your hard drive. So once you've got it installed, this version, it really isn't actually all that much different to 0.6.3 uh, other than the things that I've mentioned. So it works pretty much the same way. You connect up to another machine and once you're connected and synced, hit F12 or Control F12 to do a single frame or an animation render. CrowdRender then does its thing. It dispatches render tasks to the available machines, gets results back and pumps them straight back into Blender. You can also use it with a compositor and you can render an entire animation and do compositing passes in one hit. You can even do it to video if you so desire. So 064 is available right now, so if you want to go and grab it, you can head to our website. I'll show you that page again. Uh, if you're a subscriber already at the pro level or above, this button should be changed to version 064 and you'll be able to download it and give it a shot. And do stick around and do subscribe to our newsletter because we have a massive upgrade coming in the form of 070 of which this patch release is a little bit of a is a little bit of an introduction because we want to test the check for updates button make sure that works we also want to test the new way that we're packaging stuff and 070 is enough change as it is without throwing everything into just one package so check out 064 please let us know what you think please let us know if it works for you if it doesn't we'd love to hear about it because we love feedback and we love fixing things the last thing we want to do is be those guys that make software that wastes your time because that just sucks we don't want to do that all right guys Take it easy.